Hi there, this is Shana, and today we're going to talk about how to make digital Bitmoji stickers using Google Drawings. First, you'll need the Bitmoji Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. I will link that in the video description for you, or you could just Google Bitmoji Chrome extension and you'll find it. So you'll just add this to your Chrome and then log in with your Bitmoji account. Next, open up Google Drawings by going to drawings.google.com, and you'll want to change the page dimensions by going to File, Page Setup. Then click Custom, type in something square, 3x3 three three will work, and then click Apply. So now we can start designing the stickers. You'll see this little icon up here that is the Bitmoji Chrome extension, and you can browse the selection of Bitmoji here or type in any custom text, and you'll see that it will auto-generate some Bitmoji based on the text that you type in. I'll just grab this one right here, and you can see that it's just a simple drag and drop over to the drawings canvas. So I think these stickers look really good as circles. So I'm gonna add a circle by coming up to the shapes icon and selecting the circle. And you'll see that if I hold down the shift key, it creates a perfect circle pretty quickly. If I stop holding the shift key, like right now, you can see that height and width dimensions can get a little off. So holding down that shift key is gonna allow you to create a perfect circle pretty quickly. And then I'll send the circle backwards by right mouse clicking and then selecting order and send to back. To adjust the shape's color and outline styles, you can use these icons up here. And when you're ready to save, you're going to come up here to File, and then you'll select Download, and then PNG Image. You want to make sure that you select PNG as your image file because that's what will allow you to save the stickers with a transparent background. I recommend creating a destination folder for all of your new stickers to keep everything in one place. If you don't have one yet, you can just right click and then select New Folder. Now one more thing before I move on. Let's say you type in your text and you don't like the image choices. If you just delete the text and retype it, a new set of images will appear. Now this next part might look different depending on the platform you're using, but if you're a Google Classroom user like I am, I definitely recommend uploading these to your Google Drive first. You can upload an entire folder at once by clicking Folder Upload on the main screen of Google Drive. Now you can insert your images by clicking Insert Image from Google Drive, and then they'll appear off to this little sidebar here, and it's just a simple drag and drop over to the student assignment. Then you can resize, and you can click the wrap text icon if you want to kind of play around with the formatting a little bit. The process is pretty much the same in Google Slides too. I know some of my elementary friends use Seesaw, and you can definitely use digital stickers in Seesaw as well. I can't demonstrate that though since I don't use it myself, but I will link some directions in the video description for you. So that's how to make digital Bitmoji stickers in Google Drawings. If you decide to make your own, I'd love to see them, so make sure to tag me on Instagram at HelloTeacherLady or on Twitter at ShanaTeaches.